You know when you've had a crap day and then you come home and you still have to make dinner for your family? Well, this is going to be making dinner after you've had a crap day. Okay, so the first thing I need before I can even start cooking is Mommy Needs a Cocktail. And I found there's no greater painkiller than a gin martini. Not just any gin martini, a filthy, dirty, very cold gin martini with still a little bit of a mood. What a good dirty martini really needs not just olives. Some bartenders are like, oh, give me extra olives. I'm like, whatever. That's not what I ordered. I want my dirty martini to look like a swamp. That's why I say, filthy dirty. That's good. That's good. The dirty soup is good. I'm feeling super uncreative because I've had a crap day, but I do have a very good steak. So, because I do not believe in eating meat unless it's going to be good. It has to be worth the animal dying for me to eat it. So this is a hormone-free, free-range, cow maybe had a name, I don't know, but it's a good steak. And so Rex and I are gonna uh, split this. Uh, Vivian's now a pescatarian and she earlier made herself a pizza, which was really sweet. I appreciate her taking that initiative. First thing I did when I got home was I started the rice, because you gotta think of timing, right? So it's 20 minutes here. You cook the steak, steak's gotta be served, right? So in between, I'll be making the vegetables. Now, mind you, I usually have to sort of cajole my son to eat vegetables. But because I've had a crap day, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna give him strawberries and I'm gonna eat the vegetables because I can't put that kind of effort in right now. <laughs> I'm not cooking for a restaurant. I can do what I'm saying. I always like a nice diagonal of the carrot. Cooked carrots, man, they're unsung. Maybe because people had cooked carrots like my uh, Grandma Maxwell used to make them for me, that she would cook the living life out of them so they were almost like some poached piece of rug or something. I got the Super Lazy Bones Jones Brussels Sprouts and they're like, oh, ready wash, and we're gonna charge you extra. Um, another thing that, unless it's super crisp, my kids aren't even gonna eat, but. Wait, Vivian, are you gonna wanna eat Brussels Sprouts? Maybe. Okay, well, no. I remember when a mustard on a sandwich would send me into conniption fits. My mom would be like, I'll scrape it off, I'll scrape it off. I can still taste it. Yeah. Action. Mmm. Look at that nice steak. Okay, so people say, how do you know when to turn it over? Well, first of all, it's not cooked on the other side enough. I can tell that. The other way you can tell is once you turn it over, there's like a sponginess with meat. So if it's like too spongy, this is my culinary term, <laughs> then it's not ready. Or, well, it all depends. I mean, if you wanted a rare, then it would be ready. I do medium rare, because if you don't do medium rare, then you're kind of a plebeian. I went out with a guy once, and he said, um, if you wanted, excuse me, Vivian told me I always have to put my hair out of my ears. Anyway, he said he wanted his steak well done, and I thought, this relationship is gonna go nowhere. <laughs> I love making you laugh. If I can make a Gen Z or laugh, then that's good. Viv, what are you thinking right now? Um, I'm thinking if only I ate meat. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Now, some people have a thing about burnt. I don't. Maybe it's because I'm like part Southern and you know, Elvis loves burnt food. Look at that little burnt Brussels sprout. Mm, I'll be eating that later. Yum. Um, it's good corn. Now here's what I'm talking about with the press down. Like, oh, no, it's not quite done. I turn down the heat. I don't want it too much. I feel like I'm talking really nasally. Am I talking really nasally? That's not what I'm hearing. Let's get a shot of those vegetables. Nice. This is the setup. A mixture of food and different kinds of alcohol. <laughs> so let me tell you, uh, so this is my rice cooker that my dad gave me, who very soon will have been dead nine years, which I cannot believe. I miss my dad. You know how you always hope you're gonna have unconditional love? Yeah, you had it when you were born. If you didn't get it then, get a dog. Anyway, so. Jesus um, Christ. Well, it's true. 
No one loves you unconditionally except your parents. And if you have lousy parents, then forget it. Oh, I made sticky rice. I'm so proud of myself. So, uh, along with the water, blah, 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 I put butter in here. Because I think it was a day that I needed butter. Check. I think it's time. Time? I think it's time. Let me get a shot of that. Yeah. Why are there scissors there? Okay. That is a perfect medium rare, if I do say so myself. My kids already took their plates and went running upstairs. And um, I'm here, eating my food, trying to have a little grace note at the end of a crappy day. Delicious. Ah, I have my unconditional love. Look at that copper. The end.